build something. And it's going to be a purpose-built item. Um, what I'm looking to build is actually is actually a train horn that will go off in a demolition derby to warn all the drivers to stop doing the demolition derby. Because, as you guys may know, inside the derby ring, it's quite hard to hear what is going on. So, what I've done is I've got this off a of buddy. And we're going to build a standalone train horn system. Uh, it could be basically put into a vehicle, but it's going to be quite large, so I'm not going to put it inside of a vehicle. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have a battery hooked up to this, and then we're going to have key fob remotes so that we can activate it with key fob remotes, and then that will set these off. We're going to use this propane tank as an actual air cylinder. These are good to 275 PSI, which is much higher than the PSI that we're actually going to run. We're maybe going to run around 100 to 125 and we have the train horns, but the reason I'm doing this, if you guys don't know, um, I've kind of started a demolition derby company here in Ontario. It's not a very big one, it's a quite small one, but uh, we're happy to be putting on a demolition derby this year. There's going to be more information for this to follow, obviously, but um, my buddy that I'm doing this with as a business partner, we are actually, he actually has a mud bog as well. So this not only can we use at the demolition derbies, we can use at the mud bog where you guys have actually watched the Mom's Mad Endurance Race go on there. But, um, I don't know. What this is going to do is it's going to be able to get a very loud sound out to warn all the drivers to stop. So, it's going to be a big help for us to inside the track and even inside the mud bog. This is, uh... Something that you can also build at home to really scare your parents or even your neighbors because it basically can go off with a key fob. I'd like to get a small solar panel that I can wire into the battery to help charge the battery on the warm days. But realistically, it's not going to take that much battery power because the air compressor is actually going to be ran from an outside air compressor. Um, we're going to have a generator there at the demolition derbies and the mud bogs and then we'll just have an air compressor off of that as well. So, first thing that we've done is I've actually gone out to Princess Auto and I bought a whole bunch of fittings, pipe tape, all that fun stuff. So, my plan is, is to have it come up out to a, a solenoid, up and out to an air feed, and I'd like a battery below it, and I'd like all the electrical above it. So, we're going to get started on that, but um, I'm just going to get going and then we can kind of see what it looks like here in about 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, no, I don't think the board over there. super confident in welding to the side of a propane tank as I've never really done it before but let's see how loud this thing is you guys ready I think that's way too loud I think that's way too loud That right there is about 80 PSI in this thing. I think we're gonna really have to dial this back and dial it down. 
I did have a large aftermarket, well not a large, it's actually very tiny. I got very upset with it, but I bought a thing off Amazon that I could do this wirelessly to make it go went 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 when I wanted it to because I want the cars to stop, but didn't work. Stupid eBay and Amazon pieces. So I will be actually going to buy a new one. I did buy one for my winch, but I kind of wanted it for my winch. This is the one I got for my winch. I tried to make a video how to install this into my winch, but I kind of lost all the installation instructions, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using this one either, so. I don't know. But I'd like to get this set up wirelessly and then I'd like to weld it to uh, a cart, a two-wheel dolly or maybe a lawnmower so that we can wheel it around. I'm going to cut this back, but that's pretty loud. I'm going to say that's probably over 130 decibels. But Well, I'm going to continue this video once I figure out if I'm going to use this because the first thing i got to do is go find batteries for it because I do not have these batteries here. But. This thing looks terrifying, and believe it or not, it's scaring the shit out of me, so... We'll, uh, I want to go fill it full of water so I can actually weld it nicely and get some nice welds on these uprights. But, uh, so far that's about everything I've wanted it to become. Now I just need to make it so that we can use it in all four corners of the track without having to run over and hit a button. Stay tuned. So what I've done is I, I originally bought one thing off Amazon that didn't end up working. I got really upset, I smashed it with a hammer, I threw it in the trash. Note to self, do not get upset and smash stuff with a hammer. But I did buy this other thing off Amazon. I actually bought this for my winch. Sorry about the wind noise. It is super windy today. But anyway, I bought this one for the winch. Now I have it all wired up. At the demolition derby and the mud bog, we're going to be able to be like 50, 60 feet away from this unit. I have this turned down to about 40 PSI right now because, let's face it, 120, this thing's really loud. And if we're in the demolition derby and we want you guys to stop, just like that. That's only at about 50 PSI. So imagine if we crank that thing up to 80 or 100. But uh, at the mud bog, this is gonna make it so that we can stop cars at the endurance race. We can do timed mud bogs a lot easier, all with one person. So, you know what? Just a little thing that I built today on Zach's workshop. Pretty simple. It was just a little bit of wiring, and I think this cost me like $22 off of Amazon. So that's pretty nice. Oh well. You can turn it on and off apparently. But thanks for watching, guys. See you back here tomorrow.